All right, welcome back. So this video is a continuation of our last one where we're studying our layout tool. Let's go in there real quick. In here, in this one, we have our background image. We have our logo and our, ro our robot here, and they're all separate objects. Now, in this particular video, we're going to be talking about the things here in the visibility section on the logo properties. Right here on the right hand side, we have our sprite set. We have our motion during display, appearance motion, and disappearance motion. Today, we're going to make an appearance motion. And we're also going to utilize the motion during display. We'll be jumping into resources and Make your way down to the 2D stamps, and under that 2D stamps, we'll be going to our sprites. So you go to your sprites, and you're going to find wherever you put your logo. And here we have our preview box, and we have motions. And what we're going to do here first is we're going to add a motion. So we're going to create a brand new one. Let's make our way to resource, and it says textures and images. We'll go to images, and right there it is. Select our logo. I'm going to add and exit. We'll say OK. We're going to select the name. And we're going to call it fade and slide in. Because that's what we're going to animate. And then we'll go to our upper right hand corner and we'll go to edit. And here we are. We're in our sprite tool and we're going to do our sprite preview. Um, don't be intimidated here. We're not going to use all of the options because there's quite a few here. We're just going to make use of the change information and our timeline sections. And that's how we'll build our animation. So to start out, we're going to do our first portion, and that's going to be fade. Now, fade will be handled up here in our color section on the right-hand side. And we're going to change the color from maintain, change smoothly. And from there, it allows us access to our RGB and T section. And we're going to move all of these down to zero. Now, 255 is the maximum value for, I guess you would say, luminosity on that particular spectrum. When we turn to zero, it all turns, come on, it all turns invisible. So, we have our first frame, and our frame is invisible, so we're going to add a new one. Now, the way we can open this up is we'll go to frame number, and we're going to be working at 60 frames a second. So we're going to need one whole second to produce this animation. Put our 60 in there. Hit enter. Now it's opened up. And we have our first starting frame on our first keyframe at 60. So we go to layer 1. And we're going to make some new properties. So once again, we go back to the color change method. We go to change smoothly. And now we're just going to do the opposite. And we're going to put our maximum values back on all of our color spectrum. We'll hit enter. And now if we play the animation, there it is. It fades right in. All right, so let's do our next section. And we're going to slide it in. And we're going to slide it in from the left. So let's return to our layer 1 and our keyframe 0 or keyframe 1, whatever you like. And we're going to be use, utilizing the position. So we go to position change method. And we're going to ease it in. That opens up all of our position options. And now we're going to be using position X. Position X is this left and right cross on this cross. On the left-hand side, it's going to be a negative number. On the right-hand side, it's going to be a positive number. The same applies for the Y position, which is the up and down section of this cross. From here, we're going to enter in our negative number. Now our particular overlay here 
1280 by 720 in pixel range. This left-hand portion is going to be a negative, and it's split equally. So if you divide it in half, it's going to be 640. So if we go over here to our position at X, put a negative 640, it's going to move our target straight to the pixel left edge. And there we go. Now, as you can guess, that's where that's going to be. We're going to come to our next frame. And we have to return it back to where it was. So we go to maintain, ease in, and that's it. It's all done. Our ranges are back to zero. Our target is back to the center. Now, if we play this animation, there it goes. It goes right back to center. That looks great. So we're going to apply that. Hit OK. Then we can hit OK again. Now we need to return to the layout tool. Excuse me. So we go to title. We're going to select our logo. We go to its properties. Now we're going to leave motion during display to default. So it's just going to hold that base picture with no animations. But now we can go to appearance motion. And we can put in our new one. Fade and slide in. We apply that. We'll hit OK. Now if, when I hit play test. There it is. Slides in, and it looks great. But look at that again. Small flicker. Let's see if we can fix that. All right, so there really wasn't a technical issue that I could narrow down. Um, the only thing I didn't do was use this preview section. And, you know, as soon as I, you know, selected these animations and I previewed them, um, I hit OK. And then I went to my play test and there you have it. The flicker is gone. Um, you know, we're still in early access, so I guess it's just something weird. So just make sure you preview all of your animations uh, before you use them. You know, just, I guess it helps the, uh, the program ease it through. Anyway, um, I thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. Uh, this is a very complex tool, and we're going to get more complex with it. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.